Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today we're looking at sign rule. We are deriving sign rule. So being given triangle ABC and the information that side AB is equal to small caps C, side BC is equal to small caps A, and side AC is equal to small caps B. Let us find our, let us now find our sign rule. So, I want to further add, I want to further add that we will say, first and first, we will say, um, we will construct, okay, we will construct perpendicular height H Okay, we will construct perpendicular height, um, let's call it H, okay, from vertex B, right, from vertex B to line AC, okay, from vertex B to line AC. So, this will be, this is it, okay, and this is your perpendicular height. Here is it. Now, I want to call this point here, I want to call this point here point D. However, I also need to remind you, this side here, it was side, it was side B, okay? It was side B, okay? It was side B, or it was equal to B, right? So, <clears throat> without any waste of time, let's now derive our sign rule. So we will consider the two triangles. So I will say I will say in triangle ABD okay in triangle ABD which one is it? This one here and triangle CBD right in triangle ABD and triangle CBD what we can say is this in triangle ABD, agree with me that we can see that sine angle A is equal to H over C in this triangle here, right? Sine angle A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, right? In the same manner, we can also say sine angle C is equal to H over, is equal to H over what? H over hypotenuse is A, right? Therefore, we can say H is equal to C sine angle A. And on this side, we can also say H is equal to A sine, right? It's A, oh man, what am I doing? It's A sine angle C. Right, it's a sine angle C. Right now, as you can see, both triangle ABD and triangle CBD have a common side H, so that means H of triangle ABD and H of triangle CBD are equal. So, what I'm saying is H equals remember H in maybe let me add this H in triangle. A, B, D is equal to H in triangle C, B, D, right? So what was H in triangle A, B, D? It was C sine angle A. So it is C, it is C sine angle A. And then what is H in triangle C, B, D? It was A sine angle A. C, right? It was A sine angle C. So we can therefore say, uh, dividing by A and dividing by C throughout, we can say, therefore, sine A equals, I mean, sine A over A equals sine C angle C over C. Or we can say A over sine angle A is equal to C over sine angle C, 
okay you can say a over sine a is equal to c over sine c or sine a sine angle a over a is equal to sine angle c over c okay all right so this is the sine rule however um this triangle is made up of three uh, vertices and we only found two vertices how do we find the third ve uh, vertex we maybe we can now use the very same triangle but we will have to change um, the perpendicular height okay so we'll have to change where it's faced okay so let's maybe let me redraw it so I'm gonna redraw it again I'm gonna redraw it I don't have to look for that fancy triangle let me just draw one this was a this was B this was C and then what I'm gonna say here is um, this is C a and then this is B all right so what we will say now is construct perpendicular height H okay but this time around I'm not uh, constructing it from vertex B construct perpendicular height H um, let me maybe construct it from vertex B from vertex no from vertex C okay from vertex C to what to a line or rather to B to a B okay to a B okay so let me construct it so here is it from vertex C to a B so here is it remember it's a perpendicular height right so I can call it H it's perpendicular height right so also allow me to call this point here D okay now let's derive it so again this time I'm gonna say this time I'm gonna say now in triangle ACD okay in triangle ACD and triangle BCD okay what do we know we can find um, sine A and sine B right so what would be sine A sine A would be H over B as you can see this is sign this is a so this is the opposite this is the hypotenuse right similarly we can find sine B sine angle B would be H over a here is that sine angle B opposite over hypotenuse right so it would be <coughs> H over a right it would be h over a right it would be h over a so going to the next page we will say h equals b sine angle a and then from there h equals a sine angle b right okay now we can see that both triangle ACD and triangle BCD right both of them have a common side H right meaning H is the same so I can say H of triangle did I say BCD ACD okay ACD is equal to H of triangle BCD I believe BCD right so if this is the case we know h the height for triangle acd we had said it is b sine angle a and the height for triangle bcd it was a sine angle b therefore 
dividing by a and b through r, we will have sine angle a over a equals sine angle b over b, right, over b. Or you can say this could, could also be written in the form a over sine angle a equals b over sine angle b, okay? So now we have now found we have now found a sign relationship with, uh, with regard to all vertex uh, vertices, right? Therefore, we say let's conclude by saying generally for triangle this guy A B C where this side is C, this side is A. This, one, this side is B. We can say sine A over, I mean sine A over side A is equal to sine angle B over side B is equal to sine angle C over side C. Or we can say A over sine angle A equals B over sine angle B or it is equal to also C over sine angle C, right? Okay, so this is how you use, uh, this is your sine rule. So there's a tip that I would like to give, okay? There's a tip that I would like to give. Okay, there's a tip that I would like to give. That tip is, when do you use sign rule? So use sign rule, use when given an angle, use when given an angle and its opposite side. Okay, use when given an angle and its opposite side and then given another angle or side but required not but and required rather and required to find a the side or angle. I want you to pay attention to the order here. Okay? I want you to pay attention to the order here. One condition is that, oh, this will be messy. One condition is that you must be given an angle and its opposite side. And then you must be given another angle or side and you are required to find the side or Rather, you are required to find the opposite side. Please fix this. Required to find the opposite side or angle. Okay? To find the opposite side or angle. Okay? To find the opposite side or angle. What I mean is, for you to use sine rule, you have A, B, C. If you are given this angle and this side, and then you are given this angle here. The question must ask you to find this side, the opposite side, right? So again, if the question didn't give you uh, the, it gave you angle and its opposite side, and then it gives you a side, the question will ask you to find the opposite angle when it asks when it asks you to find the opposite angle this is where you use sign rule so basically you use sign rule when you are finding uh, angle opposite sides sides opposite angles and given um, another set of angle and its opposite side okay guys this is how you use sign rule you will get examples on sign rule um, later okay so I hope this will help you. All right. So with that being said, it's a wrap and 
See you next time. Bye-bye.